the dramatic collapse of a building that was a symbol of modernity in the capital Tehran. The Plasco building was a well-known commercial center for 55 years. In 2017, after a fire broke out inside, it was reduced to rubble in a matter of seconds, killing 20 firefighters. Investigators said unsafe and illegal heating and electrical wiring caused the disaster. And surveys have since found many more structures at risk, new and old alike. Walk around Tehran's Grand Bazaar and you will find people working in hazardous conditions. The problem is when it rains, dust or even big clouds fall on our goods in the shop. And the ceiling is unsafe as you can see. A while ago the fire department started some repair work on the ceiling, but it was left unfinished. No one has come here to follow up on it ever since. This nearby high-rise also dates back to the 1960s. A few years ago, a tragedy was narrowly avoided when a fire was extinguished before it spread to the entire building. But others haven't been so lucky. Last June, an explosion killed 19 people at a medical clinic in northern Tehran. Officials say a short circuit caused a fire, which blew up oxygen tanks at the operating room. Authorities again cited negligence and failure to observe safety standards. The city's fire department says it had warned the owner multiple times, but no action was taken. There are thousands of unsafe buildings in Tehran. They are vulnerable to dangers such as fires and earthquakes. Critics say the government should implement stricter safety measures rather than just issue warnings. However, the government says it's determined to cooperate with the municipality to resolve the problems. Judicial reviews have even been filed against some building owners. Some areas of Tehran should be renovated and the government is doing this using funds from state banks. Other areas need to be reconstructed. For example, the reconstruction work is noticeable in District 12. You can see the streets have been revitalized and worn out structures repaired. A new Plasco building opened in December in full compliance with safety regulations. And on the street you can spot repair workers on the job. But in the earthquake-prone city of Tehran, the threat still looms. Reza Hatami, TRT World, Tehran.